Um, I'd like to invite uh, Marianne Schwab to come forward.
fewer and fewer. We're only a couple weeks out with groceries in our grocery stores. We need those trucks. We need those trains. We need safe mats. And I've also worked with TriMet and uh, with PDOT and ODOT to get the rebars on old vacated railroad trestle underneath the, the Highway 82, a state Oregon State Highway. The heroes in this was Bill Long with PDOT and uh, Larry Olson with ODOT. We have a lot of energy in this community to work with you to make this happen. But I, for one, will never again go and leave my camera, my, my cell phone at home. I will never again get on the last car of a TriMet bus. Your planners know when there's activities down in town and waterfront, whether it be a fundraiser for a waterfront bond, whether it be the Rose Festival. It's responsibility to keep those trains safe. Put your employees there. And if you don't need to go hire more for all the benefits, you've got drivers. Have your TriMet people in uniform riding that last car. And I implore you, please, please, let's work to keep the kids in school and um, get them there, get them safe. And I think you'd have a fewer school buses. That would save money in the green space. We would have a fewer people maybe taking the lift. Many adults refuse to take uh, the regular buses for fear of what's happening, and you have more lift rides. We do have the best transit city in the nation. Thanks to Earl Blumenauer and all of you working together for us. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Buck. This reminds me of the, the pilot project with the high schools and the passive and the select group of Portland schools that were participating in that last year. Do you want to give us an update now or maybe later in the summer? Uh, Carolyn Leonard has been working with us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, we've had uh, two rounds of pilot projects now testing out uh, the Betsy program, um, which is the, the um, Department of Energy uh, program that allows student passes to get an energy tax credit. Um, and we've done a lot of surveys and uh, worked with writers. We've worked with um, the schools themselves. Um, and the, the program is very successful. We are increasing ridership. Um, students like it quite a bit. Um, and so we're uh, trying to move forward. We're in the in discussions right now on an interagency agreement. And you should probably see something um, probably at the August um, board meeting that would uh, make this a, an official pass program. Uh, but we believe that we can um, institute a, a, a free pass for all Portland public school, high school students starting in September. That's great. That is great. Carolyn. Yeah. The, um, the Betsy program, it has a $10 million a year cap. So we'll, we'll be using all of that. And Portland State will contribute the money that they currently um, use to buy passes and will come out uh, dollar-wise, I think. Portland Public Schools. Portland, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was just uh, talking about Portland State. Portland sure. Public uh, currently buys a lot of passes. So they'll put that money into this program. OK. Thank Great. you. Thank Great. You. And start a neighborhood watch. Let all the passengers on the bus know that we're not in New York. I refuse to turn Max over to a New York mentality. Portland's weird, but I like our weirdness. But I also think we're courteous and kind to others. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Brooks.